I'm very excited. Um, last episode, we I started to talk on mortgages a little bit, but obviously I sell homes and who better to have as our guest than Brian Cohen with Freedom Mortgage, uh, one of the founding members and managers of the home team at Freedom Mortgage. So Brian, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and Freedom Mortgage and the home team. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me on. Greatly appreciate it. Um, love talking about our industry together, two like-minded individuals. You know, um, We are the home team of Freedom Mortgage, uh, basically a division of Freedom Mortgage. Uh, we have uh, 14 locations, over 15 languages spoken on our team. Um, I currently manage the Brooklyn, Bronx, uh, Long Island, and Queens branches, uh, 22 licensed loan officers underneath me. So when you're getting my services, you're getting everybody's services. And in turn, we could truly service the referral, the referrals that come in and service the referral partners the proper way they need to be serviced in order for all to get that next wind of referral business by taking care of those first referrals. And we thank you because you've been part of the Keller Williams system for what now? Seven uh, years? Going, going on eight years. September eight years. Will be eight years. Yeah, right. it's been Started a great in Brooklyn ride. And, 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 and started in Brooklyn and gone east. And I think at that time, you definitely were not in that many offices and had that many team members. So yep. you're like Keller Williams in the sense of growing, having that team concept, you know, being able, able to you know, be everywhere and anywhere and be able to service all the business in all the different locations. You're right, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, um, Long Island. I know you guys are out in Massapequa as well. We're in, we're in Massapequa as well. Uh, we also uh, service a couple of KWs out in uh, New Jersey as well okay. as Philly and in Florida. Oh, wow. So it's been, it started with that one branch in Brooklyn <laughs> uh, eight years ago. And wow, we're, we're the true, you know, we, we, we truly, uh, we live by the team concept. You know, uh, w same, without the right team us. in place, I wouldn't be in these offices without the right team behind me. Uh, those doors never would. They might have been open, but they would have been closed quickly because <laughs> we couldn't have serviced them. It's impossible being one person and let alone one person servicing one account, one person servicing multiple accounts. Yeah. You're doomed for disaster. It's impossible. And, and, and it's really cool. And I think that's why the key team and the home team at Freedom Mortgage have that synergy is we have that team concept. We know what it takes to work collectively, you know, and, and handle, you know, different areas, different locations, volume, and, and just acting as one cohesive group. And, you know, the key team here loves that synergy with the home team at Freedom Mortgage, and we appreciate all, all you one guys. Team, one, one team, one dream. That's the only right? way to go about it, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Only way. Tell us a little bit about, I know we spoke the other day briefly, you know, we've been seeing, and obviously you see more than we do, everybody's been hearing about low interest rates. And, and obviously at the, Freedom Mortgage is, is currently, right, still currently the number one F FHA lender in the country. Number one number FHA one lender, uh, number one VA lender, top five mortgage company in, in America. Wow. So so that's uh, kudos to you guys. Yeah. And so tell us about rates. Uh, you told me about an unbelievable FHA and yeah. where rates are today and educate our, our viewers where rates are. Definitely. I'd love to. Uh, currently, the FHA and VA market, your governmental loans, interest rates are in the mid twos. <clears throat> obviously on one size year doesn't or 30 year. for a 30 year fixed mortgage with no buy down. Um, I just, just locked someone at 2.625. Shut up. Free money, literally <laughs> free money. It's, so, so to all our viewers out there, let me just repeat. Brian just said that on a 30 year fixed rate on an FHA mortgage, it's or VA, point, or, or VA, VA. or VA. 2.625%, you just lock somebody into that one. Correct, and on your FHA loans, all you need to be vested is your 3.5% down payment in order to take advantage of those interest rates. So just going down, to, uh, going down to a 600 FICO score. So for those who, of you out there, you know, a lot of people, even my father at one point thought that you couldn't buy a home unless you had 20% down. Brian's telling us that you can go as little as 3.5% down and as long as you have, what was that credit score again? Uh, 600 and above. So it's 600, 600 and above higher. Credit Correct. score with 3.5% down, you can get a loan. 
You can get a loan. You can get a loan on an FHA loan. All you have to be is three and a half percent vested as a down payment. And that could come from gift 401k, obviously your own checking or savings. And you can also add on what's called the seller's concession to that loan to cover your closing costs. So let's just say you're buying a $500,000 property, for example, in Queens, and you need about 17, about three, three and a half percent for closing costs. You could add that on top of your offer. So if you're going to offer 500,000, you offer 518,000 inclusive of your closing costs. And then you leave your down payment on that three on that 518,000 to three and a half percent. So that would be like, uh, I'll tell you right now, 19,000 roughly speaking, yep. 518 times three. $18,130 as a down payment on a $500,000 purchase with an $18,000 seller's concession. That's all so you then, need to come up with. And so then you have no closing costs because you're going to- You're, you're, ro you're, choosing, you're choosing to roll in the clo closing costs. That is amazing. And these rates are, uh, people say they're going to be around, but I haven't heard recently any 30 year in the mid twos. I, I've heard 15 years in the mid twos. Fit, fit, on a 15 year conventional, you're in the uh, the mid twos. On a fit, on a 30 year conventional, you're anywhere between three and three and a quarter, depending on the FICO score. It's very sure. FICO score driven. So to any new buyers or, or sellers who haven't ran their credit recently, I would advise whichever mortgage professional you're gonna choose to use, get in touch with them as early as possible so they could run your credit, evaluate your credit and see how they could uh, get you a higher credit score. So in turn, you would so, get a better so interest rate. So in order to, uh, to get those better rates on conventional, What's the minimum credit you're hearing? Is it like 700 and above? If, you, if you're looking for those low threes, you want to have a, a 720 or above. Okay. A 680, the 680 or above. to 720 threshold, you're looking at about a quarter percent hit worse on the interest rate. So you're more likely in the mid threes. And again, the old school saying is if you're borrowing money under 4%, it's free money. It's so, free money. Um, you know, buy a, it's a great time for buyers and sellers. And buyers being, this is the most buying power they're ever going to have um, in our lifetime, in my opinion. Again, I do right. not have so, a crystal so ball. So what's the rule of thumb for every per full percentage point that interest rates increase? Mm -hmm. it, hurts, it hurts purchasing power by $100,000. So for argument's sake, if interest rates went from 3% today to 4% tomorrow, that buyer is not going to be only able to afford a hundred thousand dollars less in their Correct. purchasing. So that's the, per the, the person who's qualified at five hundred thousand dollars today at a max qualification. They're probably looking in a year, two years, whenever these rates do go up. They're looking at versus a five hundred max qualification. You're looking at like four hundred to four and a quarter as a max oh, qualification. Wow. So, so definitely big, big you difference. Know, you, you can afford a bigger house right now. You know, you can exactly. afford your your dream home. And tell us, I know uh, during the beginning of COVID, you and I spoke, you spoke to our offices, you know, the lending for jumbo, you know, non-conventional mortgages went, went away. Um, is that still the case now or are things slowly loosening up? They're, they're slowly making, uh, coming back into the market. Um, okay. You know, we have a great second mortgage option where we could go to a maximum level on a first and piggyback it with a second. So we are still um, doing those type of loans and we could be creative in, in, in that sense and Cause, still cause get I know the, the loan in, in, Right in Queens and Brooklyn, you know, sometimes we were, you know, the, the $800, $900 million plus homes are not mm -hmm. too uncommon, you know, so that may fall into a more of a jumbo Mm -hmm. or not conventional type loan and you guys do have programs for that as well we do have loan programs for that as well correct awesome. and we also have loan programs where we could go as little as five percent down on a conventional loan with no mortgage insurance really yes <laughs> yes uh not many people have that i, I had to throw that out in our conversation no, pretty early to get everybody way, excited you know, here we we know here at keller williams and the key team we know how how awesome the home team at Freedom Mortgage is mm -hmm. and Brian Cohen and the, their ability to think outside the box when, mm -hmm. when a lot of situations arise. And of course, you guys do co-op condo as well? Co-op and condo, we uh, fully underwrite in-house so it doesn't have to get sent out to a third party, which saves a lot of time and energy and headache uh, for everybody involved on those transactions. Awesome, awesome. And 
anything that buyers should be aware of when you know getting pre-approved like uh, have what that you know they i'm sure have to have a whole bunch of documents in place mm-hmm. you know obviously being employed is is probably a good thing being to- employed is, the, is definitely the most important um but again even if not employed we could still I, I would love to get on a phone call or have a team member get on a phone call let that individual know hey uh, uh, your job's coming up in six months you need to work for six months uh, on that job for to qualify for an FHA loan. We have a wealth of knowledge to give out to the world and we would love to do so. And, and that's what we always say, right? We always say, you know, start with us, start with the key team, start with Brian Cohen and the home, and the home team at Freedom Mortgage. When we say start with us, even if it's not immediate, you know, reach out to us, let us know, let us help you be better prepared. So when you do want to buy, when you want to sell, when you want to invest, you can come to us, we can give you a, a roadmap to being better Perfectly prepared said. in six months. Roadmap, I love it. Yeah, I love six it. months to a year, whenever you're ready, you know, we can guide you to get, have that great credit, to get that best rate, you know, learn how to budget and save, you know, for that down payment money, whether it's FHA or conventional. Mm-hmm. You know, we always say start with us, the key team at Keller Williams, Real, Keller Williams Realty Landmark. And of course, Brian Cohen and the home team at Freedom Mortgage. Mm-hmm. We're always here for you guys. Um, Brian, anything you want to add before uh, we let everybody sign off and get to this July 4th? The big thing is it's never too early to game plan and get that roadmap started. I I think that was perfect, Ross. Never, ever too early. I I have people I'm working with two years out, you know, that are finishing up school um, and they know they know what they need to do. And it really comes down to the savings and where their income needs to be to qualify for that house at that time. And, And, you know, Home home buying is obviously a good starting point to creating wealth. You know, Wonderful. buying, you know, and selling and investing in real estate. And My tell opinion, us, uh, start, it only starts there. You're right, right. And tell us, uh, I'm sure you've been doing a lot of refinances lately. What's the key to refinance? You want to be a when rates are a point lower than their current rate. It, it, it all depends. Um, with a, a lot of programs we have out right now, I have people at a loan to value ratio above 80%, which usually calls for mortgage insurance. Uh, they were currently bought in an FHA loan from origination. We were able to refinance a lot of people into a conventional loan, still at about 81, 82 loan to value, which is over that PMI threshold. They should have PMI. But again, like I said earlier, we do have a loan program that we were able to get them into with no PMI. So I was able oh, wow. to not only lower interest rates, but drop the PMI as well. That, so we're saving people. Talking. Yeah, we're saving people anywhere from the on average probably three hundred to six hundred dollars a month. Wow, that that's yeah. huge, and and to not have that extra PMI payment, and 100%. at the same time be able to capture these phenomenal interest rates. So anybody looking to refinance, definitely reach out to Brian Cohen and the home team at Freedom Mortgage. Brian, I appreciate you hopping on this. You know, thank you Dave, so much for having me. Thank you as always. And definitely check us out at uh, the key team on our business page, the key team and on our face on our YouTube channel, which is the key team. And Brian, can you just give everybody your contact info? Yeah. The cell phone is my best way. 718-664-7530. When I say 24 seven, I mean it. If you don't oh, yeah, give me drive exactly. me. text him, call him, you know, he's definitely 24 seven. I reach him nights, mornings, weekends i see him he's in the office even on like a saturday or sunday at like 7 a.m 8 a.m so definitely he means it when he says 24 7. everybody have a great fourth of july yes thank you again happy fourth everybody and dave thanks for having us see everybody dave, next week. thank you take care guys